hello there, human tippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for joining in today as we have a little bit of fun and frolic. Now, I've been playing an awful lot of Blitz lately, uh, and I've got lots and lots of footage I want to use of me playing the T22, the 4202, the 140. Uh, the, uh, I've just I've played a lot, right? But then I got a video from a young human called Cam, and uh, I wanted to feature that video so badly, so I had to find backup footage for it. And it's crazy that this is the backup footage because this is a seven kill RAS from Extreme Banana. <laughs> and, uh, and this is the footage that I want to show you before I show you what I think is the fastest ever clear on an entire team in World of Tanks Blitz. So watch on till the end of this one, and I'm going to show you the most ridiculous uh, happenstance that... Anyway, let's talk about what is, in its own right, a lovely game by the Extreme Banana Machine. That is this one here on the uh, the Fields of D-Day. Look at it. Oh, oh, lovely. Now, Scorpion G is a favourite tank of mine. I love it because it's quick, it's got an incredible gun, it's got a lot of firepower, and it's a glass cannon. I'm a big fan of the high-risk, high-reward tank. Uh, I really think that's a, a great way of playing it. It's one of the reasons why I get so many uh, replays on grills and uh, and waffle tractors. It's um, one of those tanks that, much like the other German lightly armoured vehicles, your Borsigs, your waffles, your, they have incredible potential but they really need a great, great uh, bit of game sense and, and happenstance or a confluence of events for them to really work out superbly. And what I love about what you're seeing here from the Extreme Banana, EB, is he is really out in the open, but he's using his team almost like... Uh, the antenna on a bug or something. He's just rolling them out and about in front of him like a screen of light cavalry as he charges around the back and does all the damage and takes the kill shots. Like, have a look at this. Three kill shots. Three kill shots. He's only got two teammates left. But for anyone that gets upset about someone who's driving a tank like this and starts whinging and whining, will get up to the front, get up to the back. You don't want to drive a grill or a scorpion or a borsig. Any tank like that at the front. And indeed, neither the 49 here or our Amigo and the Scorpion G wants to be at the front of this Jaegeru's gun. Not Jaegeru, what am I talking about? The Jag Tiger 8.8's gun. Plenty of chicken left on this bone. Uh, there are three other tanks up the end of the field there. Four kills for our Amigo Extreme Banana. Extreme Fruit, big fan of Extreme Fruit. Yeah, here you go. The the whinging has begun. Ah, oh, happy freaking days. Um, the reds are coming like the sea, pouring in. And this is where you see the Scorpion G accelerate away. This is what you look... Look, it doesn't it look gorgeous. Like, that is a good-looking vehicle. No denying that is a... No, oh, and he's racked up another kill. Five kills. He's a Reaper Room specialist, this kid. The T-49 is in a might bit of trouble. And there's plenty of chicken left on the bone here. Two big tanks uh, and the Scorpion G. Now, the T-41 is making all the running here. This is great play. Great work from our Amigo. The T-49 is charging around everywhere like a lunatic. Set a fire in their flesh, baby. And, uh, and yet, the farming is all being done by the extreme fruit human that is the EB, the extreme banana. Great bounce. Awesome bounce. Awesome bounce. Incredible bounciness. Oh, he's one off the rest. Surely it is going to fall into his lap like a fait accompli, as if it wouldn't. Now, great game. Really good use of a very, very good gun and a very good tank. But the way this tank was not played from the back, this tank was played at the at the back edge of the heavy and the medium screen, which is the perfect way to play this kind of vehicle. It really does allow you to do some amazing things. Uh, and you can utilize that gun. Look at this, this has really become a lot closer than you'd expect. He's, uh, he's kind of got the sweaty palms right on the edge of victory. Ooh, boom, wow, wow. 
Wow. Lots of damage, seven kills, and a whole lot of chutzpah in that one. Absolutely gorgeous play. Well done. This next one is nothing like the Extreme Banana. This next one from Cambo is... Played at the back on a map where TDs perennially play at the back and everyone gets upset at them. And this is one of the most underrated tanks in the entire game of Blitz, right? This tank right here is just broke as hell when it comes to DPM. It can pump out so much damage so quickly uh, and people just don't rate it. It doesn't get rated highly enough at all. And what you're going to see here is the classic game of, uh, of tanky, tanky, long way from the front and a whole lot of tanks at the front. There's, we've knocked out our palm tree and we're not moving. Now, I don't mean to cast aspersions. That is not the way I would play this map. But i got to tell you, straight away our amigo is on the board and this is easily the fastest seven tank clear I have ever seen in my entire life. It's... I mean, a RAS in and of itself is rare enough. It is a hard thing to do. You average one every, I don't know, every few thousand games you might get a RAS where you kill all seven tanks on the enemy team, the RAS and I medal. And unless you're playing tanks like, I don't know, uh, Kenny Otsus and things where you can farm them up a lot quicker and a lot more spectacularly. But this is a hard thing to do. Now, you can see a lot of the team has pushed well forward here. They are absolutely right on the uh, tip of the spear. And two of our amigos are well back here in the spawn area, just chasing dreams, looking for free shots and uh, and working off the... Look, here we go. Working off the hit point pools of their amigos. What you're going to see in just a second is nothing short of phenomenal. Um... This starting right about... You ready? Now. Watch this. One pussycat. <laughs> Two pussycat. <laughs> Blind shot. Three pussycat. <laughs> Four pussycat. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, he's going to hit him once. Wait, wait, wait. There's another one there. No, he's bounced a shot. Oh, well, that's it. It's all over there. Nah, screw that. Five pussycats. <laughs> Six pussycat. <laughs> Seven pussycats. <laughs> I love to count. Let's show that in slow motion. Not slow motion, with a timer on it. Awesome.exe has been initiated. I've never seen anything like it. This is just... Imagine the red team rolling down towards spawn here, watching this happen as Cambo just absolutely shreds them. Absolutely shreds them. In the princely time, I don't know, it's what? 37 seconds, 38 seconds, 39 seconds? It's, it's not even three quarters of a minute and he takes out the entire red team. What a broken entity. Thank you so much for watching. I had to get another RAS, and I wasn't planning on doing a subscriber replay this week, but how could I overlook that? That was incredible. What a crazy confluence of events. All those tanks turning up being one-shots. The Yag Panzer IV, which has got the most incredible DPM, and a nice high dose of Alpha to go. All of them rolling into spawn, desperate to get those kill shots, and seven Bang, 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 bang. One after another. Look after yourselves, boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Like the videos. If you've got any uh, requests for types of videos you want to see, uh, hit me up on Twitter uh, or just leave a comment below. And until next time, stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.